But during one of the roundups, the innocent Thai family escaped. My men spent two days looking for them before they were captured, and the old man up and killed two of my soldiers. Now they're on the run again. Oh, man. Solomon was a character in this day, bro. He escaped it. He saw it something else. Colonel, I have to ask why you and your men were even taking him to the fort. He's exempt as many a colonel of the family as I have no knowledge of this, and neither do my men. But if that were true, he surely should have gone quiet and explained his situation. He chose not to, and now there have been two murders committed. Yeah, the third attack would be killed! My soldiers are outraged, as you can see. Sorely and the others must be brought in before things get more out of hand than they currently are. My men are ready to hunt them all down like animals. There we are, the dirty Stand seven. down, soldier! See to the horses. Yes, sir. If Sully had gone to the fort, no one would have listened. Your soldiers, soldiers never are under orders. Now, this is a very serious matter. My men were doing their job, and now they're dead. And you're here because you think we're hiding now? Are you? Because if not, I've come to ask for your help. I need to... Jessica, what is he doing here? We have to talk to you. If it's about Solomon, we already heard this. A terrible accident has happened. I misunderstand you. The church is right. Our friend needs our help. All of you are up. The settlers living in these parts are very much afraid of Solomon and his bunch, while they fear for their lives. I will talk to him each other. He's been Solomon's neighbors. You've known him all your lives. With you know these mountains like the back of your hand. You're the gospel. You've always been a peaceful man, a very fair man. I'm asking you all for your help in finding Sully. If anything, we would be helping him get far away from you. Why should we help you? What's happened to the Cherokee Nation is absolutely wrong. Because if you don't, things could get very nasty. And do not let, let, let this little incident with Sully ruin everything for you. I know for a fact that you two are not exempt from removal. And as we speak, my men are gathering up your families and taking them to the stockades. Our families? You said we to send them loose. What? To them, there's already been enough killing. I mean only to hold your families until Sully is captured. And you gentlemen can help me do that. But Sully is one of our people. And just like you said, our neighbor and friend. He isn't caught. And all the people hiding out in these mountains. And yes, I know they're up there. We'll be hunted down like animals. And I can't guarantee what might happen to your families. Think, you'll be repaid with your freedom. You can stay right here on your homeland. All the ones hiding will be set free. Your families, you tell them, will be set free. Please, just think about what's best for your people. But Colonel Foster, you are asking us to turn against one of our own. You cannot understand what you are asking. No, I do understand. And you'd rather save just a few lives than the lives of many, hiding in the cold and starving, just so they can stay here a little bit longer. Removal is here. There's no stopping it. There's no avoiding it. Sorry, I'll have to admit. You're very cunning. But not cunning enough, seeing I have been caught. Tell me, is it true you will let my people go if I give you my life? Very true. We have a most unfortunate situation before us, but I must carry out my orders. Boy, Sully, please. This is not an easy order to carry out for me or my men. I don't want anything over my eyes. The last thing I want to see before I cross over are these beautiful mountains. Sully, it makes it easier for my fire explorer. And why should it be easy for them? It is I who will die. I never thought my life would end at the hands of soldiers. Muchacha, you tell them. Join the soldiers who will fire at me. Ridiculous, man. No. yourself. We cannot. Nelly Gee, you cannot mean this, son. If you are a fireman, and I am lucky, one of your bullets will hit me. The soldiers can't shoot straight. Go on to do it quickly. No. No, this is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't want any part of this. Colonel Foster, you've already taken the lives of his sons. Sally, he's just an old man. Why can't you leave him alone? You know I cannot do that. Chacha, Chacha, is my brother. I am asking you. Uh -huh. 
heart is heavy. But if this is what you want, then it is done. You understand something. Little Steve, please let everyone know about the bravery these two have shown in this day. I will, Charlie. I will let all know the great sacrifice that was made. The story is going to be told to future generations of Cherokee people. They will hear, and they will never forget. Gentlemen, bring them your guns, quickly. 